Hello everyone, it's Monty the Polka Dot Pinecone again. I am coming back with another video to um, show you another experiment that I was working on. So I just recently showed you um, a video about using the Nubo Drops, um, applying um, them through a stencil. Um, just, you know, taking the bottle and, and filling in the spaces. So, next thing I thought of after I got done with that video was I wonder how it would work with an embossing folder because I have seen people, um, I guess I'll Jennifer McGuire do this. Um, she put, um, she inked up her embossing folders with some ink, just with an ink pad, inked it up, and then put the paper in there, ran it through, and then of course then it gives you a pretty um, inked uh, design from your embossing folder. It worked out really well. So I wondered how the Nubo drops would work. Uh, not so well. So what happened was I put them on these, all these leaves right here and ran it through. Or actually I didn't, I just, yeah, I put some inside the leaves. Okay. So I put the, the drops just inside this leaf thing right here and this little stem. And then I put my paper in really carefully, just set it down, closed it, ran it through my die cutter machine. Um, so it did a real nice impression, but it basically just squirted out, <laughs> uh, squeezed out all the color and had it all come out on the end. And so none of this was covered. So not, doesn't work through um, with an embossing folder like inking an embossing folder does. So then next I thought, okay, well, oh, here's these nice, pretty raised, um, the raised places from the embossing folder. So I just took some Nubo drops and I just coated them. So that turns out pretty, but you have to have kind of a steady hand. So as you can see right here, I was doing this and, uh, yeah, not so good on that. So depending on your design, the steadiness of your hand, you might be able to get a good thing with just coating the raised um, portions within a, from an embossing folder. So that was that ex um, experiment. experiment. Um, and then I thought, well, you know what, I, what you usually do with the stencils, you're usually using, um, uh, I don't think I have any out right now. Um, but typically you're using an embossing paste. Um, and so, and how do you apply that? You apply it with your, you know, with your knife. So I was wondering how it would work to um, apply the Nubo drops through the stencil again. I went back to my stencil since embossing was a kind of a failure. Um, I went back to the stenciling and look how pretty it comes out when you use a knife on it. So basically I just poured some of my Nubo drops on my stencil because it's plastic and then I just laid my stencil down and then dipped my knife in the pool of the embossing or not embossing but the Nubo drops and um, and then I just spread it over kind of places where it didn't fill in I just kind of took it and kind of tapped it pulled it up and voila look how beautiful that turned out same thing I did a different color right there pretty shiny really neat I like that I wasn't sure if pulling the knife if it would be too liquidy and you know if it would go underneath the um the places where it wasn't supposed to because like I say typically when you're using stencils a lot of times um you're there a lot of times you're using a spray like an ink a spray ink or um um you're using like a thick embossing paste to go over and stencil so i wasn't sure how that would turn out but i thought it i think it turned out really great so i can I mean, the possibilities, the possibilities, I can't speak today, are endless with um, the types of embossing, I mean, uh, stencils that are out there. I have quite a few that I, and I haven't even used them for a while because I haven't been doing much, you know, with my, um, 
embossing paste. So um, I'll probably be doing more now that I know that this works. Look how pretty. And so then my next experiment was to try, um, okay, so I wonder how um, stickles, actually this is liquid pearls. So, okay, this is liquid pearls. I thought I had grabbed, I thought these were stickles, but it's not. This is liquid pearls um, from Ranger, so kind of the similar to the Nubo Drops. And so um, I did the same thing, and look how it turned out pretty also it's a lot it seems to be thicker a little bit thicker again um and i think it might have um you know went a few more places than it was supposed to but really pretty now what i will say about this one is super fast drying so um you got to immediately get uh wash this off because normally you can just when I did the Nubo drops, I kind of just took a baby wipe and then just wiped it off, and it wiped off pretty quickly. When I use these liquid pearls, um, I mean, as soon as I finished this, I started to wipe it off, and it was already starting to stick. So, anyway, um, I went into the, you know, just took it in the sink and used soap and water on it, and and you know, got it off more. But just so you know, you're going to want to get stuff off your knife and off your stencils really quickly if you. When you're using electric liquid pearls and such so and and this is feeling pretty dry already i'm not sure about the nuvo drops i don't think so um a little bit i mean it feels it's not like smearing or anything so but i wouldn't trust it to like put it up against something or whatever because it would probably stick to it still so um i'm going to turn this i'll just go right here real quick so i thought i was using um stickles and i wasn't so let's just turn this over and let me grab a thing of stickles and let's try it and see real quick. So I wasn't planning on doing this, but this will be a good chance to show you what I did. So I just squirted some out onto the thing, onto my uh, stencil. I'm going to take it and put my knife in there and then I'm just going to spread it over my image. Looks like I need a little bit more, so I'm going to squirt a little bit more out. Try not to move my stencil. And just kind of fill it in. And then you can like, take it, scrape it off, which is normally what you do with paste. And then, you know, you could like fill in other areas if you wanted to. Which I won't sit there and fill all that in. But anyway. Okay, that looks like it's filled in. Let's see how that worked. So I'm going to pull this up really carefully. Pretty. Okay, so that turned out pretty good too. Um, not as defined in the areas, but that, I mean, when I turn to a certain light, you can, in a certain direction, you can kind of see more of the defined areas there. But it might be because of the glitter. That's probably why it's doing that. But it is still a pretty image. Look at that. And real easy to do. It um, it was thinner. Um, it seemed thinner putting, you know, spreading it on than it did on the Nubo drops. But it could have just been you know, my bottle. I, that, I don't even know, even know if I've ever even used that bottle of silver. So... Anyway, that's how that turned out. So, cool, um, another cool technique you can use. And then, like I say, just take baby wipe and um, wipe off your knife and um, your stencil. And there, I got some down there from the what part that went through the stencil. And so this is easy cleanup. So those are really good for cleanup also. So um, the liquid pearls are seem like a lot faster drying. So be careful with those to make sure you get it, your stuff cleaned up real quick on that. So anyway, 
that is another experiment that I thought of after I finished the other, trying the other things on the Nuvo Drops. So I thought I would share that with you, my fail here, how it disclosed the stuff <laughs> out into a line there on the end. And this is pretty for accenting, you know, real, you know, not too um, intricate of designs. I did okay on that. And this one, not so much. Of course, I did have my three-year-old uh, granddaughter trying to climb up on my lap at the same time as I'm trying to do stuff and want, she want me to paint her face. So that didn't help on that matter. But anyway, this is gorgeous. So I can see using it on all different kinds of things now and that gorgeous shiny. And then you could fussy cut this out if you wanted to. You could, if you got good, I guess you could even, you know, like um, maybe mask off areas and stuff and do uh, multiple colors or go on top um, and like do another color on top to fill in different spaces like if you want to do these two little things on the butterfly different color or the dots different color something like that but anyway turned out really cute so I hope this was again helpful to you gave you some inspiration maybe give you something to think of to try and if you like this please give me a thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing I really appreciate it let me know what you think in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys soon thanks bye